Education Monday, Education Monday on the Tribal Root Studio with Alina Zahil. You at the Spanish and Moroccan border are killing black people. Changing mindsets in Africa, making a world better. Together, we can make a difference. We are fixing Africa. Education Monday. Education Monday. Oh, wake up Africa, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the Tribal Roots once again. And uh, I welcome everyone who is watching. Everyone trying to participate. I say we love you so much from the Tribal Roots studio. Uh, we count on you. We believe in you. And we would like to tell you that you are the one we have been waiting for. You are the one to change the narrative. And as we always remind you, uh, like, share and subscribe to this channel. For that helps us to grow. And we also believe that the message we have should spread worldwide for our people. Today I want to speak about a very distressing situation uh, somehow. Uh, our people are getting very many signs uh, for us to wake up. We need to wake up because uh, everything is calling us to wake up. Everything is happening to show us the things we have failed to do. One of my best teachers uh, from North America, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, if you know him, if you have studied about him, if you have read about what he told the people, uh, he, he said that uh, my people are dumb, deaf, and blind. The reason why most of the things are going out of hand is because we have been deaf, blind, and dumb. That we have been unable to see exactly what is happening. Even when we've seen what is happening, we've been unable to interpret it, to understand it, and to see why we are being shown uh, all of these things. So the reason we remind you that this is a wake-up call is everyone needs to wake up from their sleep. Everyone needs to wake up uh, from being deaf, from being dumb, from being dead. Like We need a massive resurrection of the mind for our people. So recently a distressing situation happens at the border of Spain and Morocco. At that border very many refugees were massacred. We need you to wake up and this is a very big wake up call to all of us uh, because these are men from Africa, black men trying to free from their countries, thinking there's a better life outside and being massacred at the border. And uh, the wake up call that we are ringing is asking you what you are doing, what your government is doing, what your leaders are doing and what you are doing in the community to make sure our people stay home. Very many people would like to, to blame the victims. Like we will meet a lot of people who will be like, where were they going? Uh, we don't care if they died because they should have stayed home. Well, blaming them doesn't help because we all know that these people are running away from uh, equally distressing situations from their home countries. And the reason is, we have failed to work together to make sure we fix the problems in our communities. And right now, we are being faced with the reality. A few months ago, we have all been called. Uh, big powers and big media companies have called us to listen to the plight of the people in Ukraine. Everyone has hashtagged. Uh, I stand with Ukraine, I stand with Ukraine, I stand with Ukraine. What was the reason? Because people in the West have sold to root for their people, the Ukrainians. Every European has been speaking for the betterment of the Ukrainian people, making it look like this is the worst war that has ever happened. And we saw a lot of Africans jump onto the ship and say, everyone needs to speak for Ukraine. No one speaks for Africa. A situation like this that has happened at the border of Spain and Morocco where we see the police killing people trying to free 
is very daunting and i'm going to say you may not see this in the mainstream media making uh, big headlines and i think you have to agree with me that no one really cares about you if you do not care about yourself really no one cares about the same people that have been uh, making a lot of outcry about ukrainian refugees are silent they are silent when this is happening to black people and black people being dumb deaf and dead are silent too so who is going to help you who is going to come to your rescue who is going to save you who is going to fix your communities the answer is it is you no one else our men our males our able-bodied males need to stand up they need to stand up and reclaim our glory they need to stand up and defend mother africa they need to stand up and do away with the system that has destroyed us for long this is the time what do you think we envision after looking at the men that should be protecting the land being murdered and butchered at the border trying to flee to those nations so we are asking you to wake up and the energy is everywhere if you look so well if you listen better the energy is everywhere and this is the best time of awakening that we should all take up we should all uh, take advantage of we should all leverage because the time is just right and everyone needs to see this man woman youth leaders so someone someone told me that most of these people who are trying to flee their nations they have lost hope in their nations they have lost hope in their leadership but i would like to remind everyone that i don't think there is ever going to be a shortcut to success there is never going to be a two-way around our problem uh, the way is a very rugged road like you have to go through all the challenges and problems and all these blocks and bumps you have to face them like a strong people because at the end of the day there is no other option all these shortcuts you take are only leading you to our very quick distraction so we have to fix our leadership if the leaders are not speaking for our people it is you the people that have to remind your leaders and force them to do the right thing but what do our people always do in most of the communities i've been to in africa the people don't ask for the right things most leaders when they approach their communities the people ask for some simple trivial things you will find a lot of people who should be asking for better services in the villages and sticking to that asking for a piece of soap they are asking for one thousand shillings they are asking for for a soda like every time we do that we are training our leaders to provide those things we are training them that all we need is a soda we are training them that all we need is just one coin we are not training them to give us what is a worth a better life an enjoyable life freedom services the kind of heaven you've been promised to to get when you're dead is the heaven you make now i don't think there are very many poor people who go to heaven as they have always brainwashed you that your riches are in heaven while they say that your riches are in heaven they came with a gun and took all your minerals they had a bible in one hand and a weapon in the other and they made sure while you close your eyes while you're praying they took your wives away they took your cattle they took your people so you have really to understand that this system is made to subjugate the people to make sure everyone goes to sleep as they plunder africa and they've been plundering africa for very very many years and the time is just right so some of the things that are happening right now are showing us that this is the epitome of slavery this is the epitome of um i'll call it colonialism the colonialism that i believe never ended 
They had to change it into other forms in very many ways to make sure you believe that colonialism ended. How did it end? When, while they were doing slavery and colonialism, they were tying our people and shipping them to their lands. But right now in this age, our people are tying themselves and shipping themselves willingly. They are paying for that. They are paying for the, for the movement to be enslaved one more time. Where are the kings? Where are the fighters? Where are those heroes? Where are the replica of the Mumbas, of the Sankaras? Where are they? who will stand very tall and tell the people that this is the time to defend Africa. We need better. How shall our children look at us in the future? How shall the women respect the men, knowing the men didn't protect them when the enemy approached? Now, we see that what has happened at the border is a very big sign of the times, a very big sign of the things we have failed to pay attention to. A very big sign of where we may be headed. They will butcher your people, they kill your people, and they will have you holding the microphones and still defending them and saying those black people who were butchered deserved it because they are not educated, they should have stayed home. And they do not tell you that this, the reason why these black people are trying to flee is because the nations where they are going are putting the grip, the tentacles are firmly gripped on the nations of these refugees, taking out the minerals, influencing the policies, bribing the leaders, paying for wars, arming and defending and empowering the warmongers. From here, I want us to look at what has been happening in the Congo lately. You, you have heard about the M23, where the Congo people are choosing Uganda and Rwanda, saying these soldiers are backed by you, and our people are being sent into refugee camps in Uganda. They are displaced. First and foremost, I would like to remind everyone that for 25 years, there has been an ongoing war in the Congo region, especially the eastern part of the country, but this is not something that you will find in the mainstream media talked about in the measure it should be. Considering the magnitude of the damage that has been done in the Congo. When you see the kind of attention they've been giving to Ukraine, you know that there is a big difference. There is a gap on how they cover human rights, human rights uh, issues between the Congo between other African nations and their own nations. So it is not rocket science to say that they don't really care about you. But then you won't blame them forever. They care about themselves. What do you do for yourself? Do you care about yourself? So the version of the stories you hear between Congo and M23 is going to mention Congo, Rwanda and Uganda. But you won't hear the hidden hands which are arming and empowering and paying for the war, for the invasion. You won't hear the news that tells of which countries, which Western countries are benefiting from the war. You won't even get enough photos and videos showing you the number of people displaced, the women carrying babies on their back, the women displaced and sleeping in the bushes. You won't get news like that in the mainstream media. So every time we say, wake up Africa, we mean it because we know what is happening in the world and we know that the time is right. Before we are utterly destroyed, we need to do something. I hope, I hope that everyone wakes up to the trickery and brutality of the oppressors. They will keep blaming the victims and they will say they should have stayed at home, but it is natural. It is natural that people would want to run away to safety. Uh, I want to thank uh, one of our sisters in UK, Sister Pauline, uh, who raised this issue. He made an attempt to show me uh, how much attention we need to pay to the problem that is happening uh, to our people who are trying to flee. And I would also like to say this. Recently, there was a 
There was a deal that was signed between Rwanda and UK where they said asylum seekers would have first go be transferred in, in to Rwanda before they can get uh, asylum in any countries where they were seeking asylum. So when this happened, it all looked like a very good move, a noble move for Rwanda to accept to take care of the people that needed peace. But like I always say, it's better for us to make sure we, uh, we fight for peace for many countries instead of fighting to uh, find refugee areas and money and funds for people we have created. I mean, we have created the refugees and then we are creating a situation where we need to pay so much to take care of the refugees. But we are not paying enough to make sure these countries have peace and these people don't have to run away from their countries. We, we probably are creating the wars. We are creating the chaos and we are creating the situation where people should run away from the situations. So my question was this. Uh, there's a problem of refugees uh, from Congo, Somalia, Eritrea, Ethiopia, and I'm mentioning these East African countries in particular. Now we see a big deal happen between Rwanda and um, UK saying we will transfer people seeking refuge from UK to Rwanda. And we ask our question, most of those people are actually from the Middle East. Most of those people are from Asia. Most of those people that you want to take care of from Rwanda are from so far, far, far away. But you already have now the, the people that should be taken care of from the countries surrounding Rwanda. So why, why is it not making sense to me is you should really have empowered Kagame in the Rwandan government to take care of the refugees from around surrounding his own country. I think that is the, the sense I would see in this. But you want to empower him to show the world that this guy is really a very, very noble person for taking care of refugees from countries many, many miles away. And why you do that, you at the Spanish and Moroccan border are killing black people. What kind of hypocrisy is that? How can anyone not see the foolery? How can anyone not see the sense in the sense that I'm speaking about? You want Africa to take care of your people or your cousins or your neighbors? You don't want Africa to take care of its own people. And when these people try to get near your borders, you massacre them. Tribal Root Studio located in Ishaka at the foothills of the mountains of the moon. My name is Alena Zahir. Please remember to subscribe and if you would like us to address anything, please contact us through WhatsApp on uh, 0755068253. You can also write us by email at unity at tribal Root Studio. Uh, the org. You could also contact us at uprise at tribalroadstudio.org. If you would like to contact me personally, you will write to a l e e n a z h i r at gmail dot com. Uh, we come every every week and we bring these issues uh, in all truth without apology. And our mantra is fixing Africa. We are doing everything to make sure that our people wake up, for we know that this is the only salvation that we have got. Please remember to subscribe once again and share this video until all the world hears peace and blessings.